Those of us who love dogs and have owned dogs know when our dogs age, they begin to experience discomfort and they can experience cognitive decline or senility. They can have a hard time doing their normal daily activities like going up the stairs or jumping into the car. And so for me, the ability to keep a cherished family member healthy and happy in the household for a longer period of time, that's a really important goal for me as a veterinarian. The Dog Aging Project is a long-term, longitudinal study of healthy aging in dogs. We follow individual dogs over time, and it enables us to describe and discover what sorts of things happen over the life course that influence aging. One of the most important things that we're hoping to learn is how to maximize what we call health span. So health span is a term that refers not to just living longer, but living more healthfully into older age. So one of the studies within the Dog Aging Project is a clinical trial of a drug called rapamycin. And we refer to this study as TRIAD for test of rapamycin in aging dogs. Medium to large breed dogs who are older are randomly assigned to receive either a low dose of rapamycin or a placebo. The owners don't know what the dog is receiving, and the veterinarians don't know what the dog is receiving. Come on, boy. Good boy. He'd be 14 in February, Valentine's Day. I'd love to get a couple extra years out of him, as long as he's not hurt at all. So the intent is to use low-dose rapamycin to help to produce some of these beneficial impacts on the long-term outcomes of aging, preserving cognitive function, muscle strength, activity levels, uh, heart health into later periods of life than would normally be expected. It's also possible that rapamycin will extend lifespan itself, but for me, that's never as important as improving healthy quality of life into the later years of our dogs. Everything is looking good so far. Because we don't know everything that we need to know about how to safely and effectively prescribe rapamycin to dogs to promote healthy longevity, it is appropriate for its use to be limited to carefully controlled and monitored clinical trials so that we can learn what works, what its benefits are, and what's realistic. The dogs in the triad trial are monitored extremely closely by our team of veterinarians all over the country. And so it's really, really important that we limit the use of this drug to dogs who can have that kind of very attentive monitoring and care until we understand more about whether it works and how it works.